Hey guys, it's Marty here from Nintendo Dads, and I wanted to show you something cool that we got in the mail this week at Nintendo Dads HQ. Now, we're all about video games, and mainly Nintendo video games, because we are Nintendo Dads, but uh, all Nintendo Dads enjoy a good board game. And even more than that, we enjoy a good board game when it's paired with Super Mario Brothers. Look at that. Super Mario Brothers Power Up card game. We also got in the Super Mario Level Up board game. And then last but not least, we got in the Clue Zelda Edition Collector's Edition. And all of these games are from our friends over at USAopoly, and they make lots more games and also make a really cool Zelda chess set that uh, I think they said that we might get at some point, and also a uh, Mario chess set that I, you've probably seen in Walmart and other places. But we're going to do uh, just a quick unboxing of these and show you what's inside. Uh, and then you can go over and we'll put some links in the, the uh, notes of this YouTube video in the description and uh, that lets you know where you can buy these games for yourself. I'm super excited about these. And so I'm uh, just going to grab a knife here and let's open it up. We actually own a copy of this game here in my home. And for the sake of this, I'm just going to open it up and I'll show you what's inside. This is a card game that you can play uh, ages 8 plus, 20, 10 to 30 minutes. Would you say that it takes that long, Aaron? Yeah, probably yeah. about 10. To, depends on how many people are playing and if you have to teach the rules, right? Three to eight players, so lots of people can play this game. Inside, uh, notice 8-bit art all around, really cool. Inside, when you open it up, uh, there's an instruction book. And then the inside, here's the cards, and here's some Mario tokens. So these represent your lives in the game. But the inside, I don't know if you can get that, mm -hmm. is underground themed. And inside the box is lots of cool little Mario in the spring, got a Koopa Troopa, Mario Brothers logo, ground. So the basic premise of this game is it's kind of like a, a gotcha game. Uh, each of the... Each player will play a level card that is worth certain amounts of coins, and uh, they will take those cards and compare them against other people's cards, and whoever has the most amount of coins wins the round. But whoever has the least amount of coins loses a life. But where the gotcha element comes in is there's all kinds of power-up cards that you can play, like a Fire Flower or a Koopa Shell or a Star Man that can modify the value of your cards. And so it ends up being uh, kind of, you know, gotcha, um, you can have a vendetta against somebody, maybe you want to put them out of the game, that type of thing. Uh, so it's really fun, uh, and I'm so glad that they sent this along, and you can pick this up. I think this right now is exclusively at Target uh, in, in the United States, and so uh, I'm not sure about everywhere else, but this just came out this year. Also is the Super Mario Level Up board game. And here on the back, you can see that it has a 3D board with these good character standees here. It, it claims to have 13 characters, and it's a race to the top to get to the castle first. And so let's take a look and see what this one looks like. This one is themed a little bit more like the new Super Mario Brothers games, or Mario 3D World, or the recent art that's come out from those. And so... Here is the instruction book, and on the back, also some of the other games, Mario Chess, like I told you about, and Mario Checkers, uh, which have Mario and Luigi hats as uh, king pieces. We actually have a set of this that doesn't have those king pieces. Uh, is a, I think it was a little, maybe like a value set of that. Uh, so here's the character stands, here's some power-up cards again, and a score pad. And inside here is um, voting cards. And I think voting is how you get to the top. At least that's what it says on the back. And then you have this wonderful punch board with all the pieces of the game. And I'm gonna open this because I wanna see which characters are part of it. Because on the back it says there's 13 characters and it doesn't show all of them. Of course it shows my favorite character, Waluigi, who I will always be when we play this game, which my kids are demanding that we play. And I'm like, I don't know how to play it yet. And, they, and you know, when you say that, they don't care. They just want to play it. So we'll put all of these right here in the board. Here are the, 
here's some items that you can power up as. Uh, it's got the question block on the back. That's pretty cool. Here are the 13 characters. You got Bowser, Donkey Kong, Waluigi, Princess, Princess Daisy, Luigi, Yoshi, Mario, Wario, Bowser Jr., Diddy Kong, uh, Toad, and Magic Koopa. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I know I'll probably people will disagree with me here. I'm not entirely sure how these two end up in the Mushroom Kingdom all the time. Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, I don't get it. Like, they have their own country. They have their own island that's shaped like his head. I don't, I don't get it. Here's the backdrop of that. And you can put that together. And uh, we may uh, do another video where we actually put this together and give it a playthrough with the kids because I think this one uh, is going to be a really fun one to play uh, with children. Uh, in fact, it says it's three to six players, ages eight plus. It takes, again, uh, 10 to 30 minutes. And by the way, board game publishers, I really appreciate when you do things like this. Learn how to play by watching the video because nobody wants to read this. It's real confusing. So lots of board games are like that. So that's the Mario Level Up board game. Uh, watch for a video of us playing that here soon. And then the last one is the Collector's Edition of Legend of Zelda Clue. Now, Clue is a game where you're hunting for the uh, person who killed, uh, murdered someone, right? I've only played Clue like a couple of times. This version is different because you're trying to find out who is going to fulfill the prophecy of stopping Ganondorf. So you find out who does the prophecy foretell that will defeat Ganondorf, what will be the item that's used to defeat him, and where will the final battle be fought? And the board looks like Hyrule. You have uh, six different characters, Darunia, Raru, Zelda, Naburu, Impa, and Link. And then you have the weapons. And let's just open this up and take, I was very surprised when the package came in and this was in there. I was super excited. And this one does not want to. It doesn't want to open. This game, unlike the others, will actually take you a little bit longer. It doesn't really say on here. Yeah, it does. Uh, two to six players, eight plus 45 minutes. So it's a little bit of a longer game. It's going to take some time commitment, but uh, probably still better than Monopoly. Um, anyway, <laughs> nice, really nice board. It's not, uh, I don't know if you can see this. It's... It's like a like a rubberized back to this board, so that's really nice. Here is the actual game board. I got the castle there in the middle, Kakariko Village, Zora's Domain, Forest Meadow, Lost Woods, Kokiri Forest, Lake Hylia, Gerudo Valley, Gerudo Fortress, Death Mountain. This is slightly themed off of Ocarina of Time's map, uh, but you'll notice there's some things that are in different places. Uh, which, but it's still, that's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of detail there. Uh, there's secret passages. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, here are the, here's the instruction book. Here's the character standees. Um, suspect movers is what they're called. So there's that. Here's clue pad. So you can kind of, here is who has been murdered, right? Uh, and then there are some cards. Or Ganondorf cards. Player who draws the eighth Ganondorf card is eliminated from the game. Well, you don't want to do that. Here is uh, the character. Now, you, you may notice that these characters, they kind of come on a, on a piece of paper, but these character movers are actually um, clear plastic. So you slide the character down in there, and so it kind of protects it. I think that's a, a really nice touch. Two dice, and... Here are these weapons, and I'm gonna show you these because these are super cool. Um, these are actually, they're like Monopoly pieces. They're made out of metal. And so, I don't know if you can zoom in on that. There's the Master Sword. It's really cool. Here is the bow. Probably the hero's bow. That's really cool. There's, I like this one. It's a bomb chew. I don't know if you can see that. Really neat. And then there's the hook shot. And all of these pieces have really good attention to detail. Um, here is the boomerang. 
see if I can hold it like that. Yeah, the boomerang. And last but not least, uh, the hammer. I think that's Darunia's hammer. That's really neat. And so all in all, I think this is a really cool package. Uh, now there is a regular version of this that is out there and we'll try to link you to the collector's edition. I didn't even actually know there was a collector's edition, but I've seen the regular version. Um, the, the, I believe the difference is in some of the materials that comes with, I think the collector's edition, I think is a higher grade of material that comes with, with all of this. And so probably the, the weapons are not metal and, and different things like that. But uh, I think this is, you know, if you're a Zelda fan, I think this is a great addition to your, um, to your library of board games. If, you know, especially if you like Clue, I mean, uh, again, I've not played, so I can't really say <laughs> that's terrible, but, um, we're going to try these games and we'll get back to you and let you know, um, trying to figure out where everything goes, uh, <laughs> let you know how we think about them. Uh, listen to future episodes of the podcast. We'll definitely talk about these. And once again, uh, we want to thank our good friends over at USAopoly for hooking us up with these games. Thanks so much for sending them over. We're going to have a lot of fun with these. We'll talk about them on a future podcast. And you can find that podcast at iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. Just search Nintendo Dads. And uh, just, you know, go over there, subscribe, like us, download our show, see what you think, uh, comment. We also, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Nintendo Dads, where you can, for just a dollar a month, change the world by donating to the Nintendo Dads cause and help us achieve our goals of being Nintendo dads. I mean, that's, that's what we do. And so I'm Marty again. Thanks for watching this. Check out all the other videos on our channel. Bye-bye.